So when Jesus sent them out, he gave them what? It was the same finger, the same spirit, the same what? Power he gave to you. Why? It is about kingdoms. You cannot establish a kingdom without power. You cannot establish. That is why Jesus sent us out with what? Power. To do what? Not to keep it and to sit on it. Not to keep it and ask, well, Pastor, what do I do with it? No, but to utilize it. You cannot ignore the strong man when it comes to soul winning. In other words, you cannot ignore the system, the kingdom of darkness. Because what you are trying to do, what you are trying to do is to establish a new kingdom in that person. Remember, it was a person. Jesus had just delivered, he had just healed a person, but he began to talk about Satan, the kingdom, and the spirit. And so you have to, you are, you are replacing a kingdom with another. And it takes power to do that. It takes power to do that. Not a smile, not a hug, but power. You don't change kingdoms by hugs. It is by the finger of God, by the Spirit. That's why the Bible says, and ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses. You cannot witness without the power. You cannot win souls without the power. Why? Because there is a strong man. There is a system you need to unseat. There is one you need to dethrone. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifest that he might bind the devil. Not even Jesus. <laughs> it's not his job. It's not his job. There is order in this kingdom of God. It's not his job. The Bible says he, Jesus, will send his harvesters, not him. But what he came to do, the Bible says, is to what? To destroy the works of and that's what you and I are to do. Not to bind the devil. But we're to bind what? The unclean spirits, the demons, not the devil. And so what we do when we encounter a person is to spoil the works of darkness. I see what the devil is doing. But in the name of Jesus, I put an end to it now. 